thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, our next speaker is Iraj. <laughs> Iraj is a long-term supporter of drivers across New York City. Welcome, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, first of all, I want to thank you all for being here. It's not easy standing in the cold. Um, it means that you guys really believe in something and you want to see this happen. So I appreciate all of you. Uh, my name is Araj Kazi. Um, I've been a part of the TLC industry for the last 10, 11 years. Um, currently, I am a TLC insurance broker. Uh, over the years, I've represented thousands and thousands of drivers. Uh, my relationship with them is a very friendly relationship. They come to me with all their problems. I've seen so many problems, and during the height of the pandemic, I was surprised that my clients were coming to me. They weren't asking for money, but they were asking for food. It made me think. Is this really the world that we live in? That this, uh, you know, this industry that we're in. You guys run New York City, whether it's delivering food uh, to people or transporting people. You guys were transporting essential workers, yet here you are struggling for food. Um, this cannot be tolerated any longer. AppShare sure workers run New York City. Without app, sure, without app workers, New York City would be at a complete standstill. So it's about time that we finally stand up, unite, and fight against the powers that think they've been controlling us for so long. We're not gonna tolerate it anymore. Justice for app workers is about finally being able to step up to these big dogs. We're gonna step up to the tech companies that have been hiding behind that term. We're a tech company. No, you're not. We're gonna stand up to the insurance companies that have been uh, harassing and abusing drivers for far too long while increasing their premiums. We're gonna make a difference, and I'm so honored to be part of this historic moment where we all join together. I'm telling you all, this is the beginning of history. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Eric Joe. Now, coming Jackie. Jackie! Thank you, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Jacqueline Weidman and I'm the founder of the Long Island and Uber Lyft Network. Yes. Yay! We service the new, what they call the New York City suburbs, okay? The Long Island Lyft and Uber Network is joining the Justice App Workers Coalition because the app platforms have to start treating workers as human beings first. Do you agree? Yes. I'll repeat it. App platforms have to start treating their workers like human beings, and they have to start treating us fairly and justly, right? We have to make sure that we can put food on the table, clothes on our children's back, and a shelter over our family's head, okay? During the pandemic, the app workers were being deactivated left and right. And we joined and let uh, food delivery workers, ship shoppers, Instacart workers, DoorDash, Grubhub, Caviar join our group because they were also floundering out there. So, and you do not know if or when you're going to be able to work again. And we need a system where the activations are handled quickly and justly, right? This is the time for app workers to have a union. A union means that workers will have the right to bargain for better rates, better protections, and our voices cannot be ignored any longer. Doesn't matter what app you work on, we are all in this together, right? So before I started, we voiced in Long Island we voiced our concerns among ourselves. Now, five years later, I'm proud to be a part of the strongest coalition in New York's history, ready to take on these companies, Uber and Lyft and Grubhub and whatever other ride share. Just know that we're coming for you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, Long Island. Uh, now I'm going to introduce the United Delivery Workers Association, Ranjit. Thank you. Why are we here for justice for a worker? Yes, sir. We are not asking to make a union. We are not requesting to make a union. We are here to make a union. You participate, I participate, we make it union and we deserve it. Hello everyone. My name is Ranjit Gauli. I have worked Uber and Uber Eats for five years. I'm member of United Delivery Worker Association. Also, I'm a US Army veteran. It's my proud to serve my country and my community. We are delivery workers, or Uber driver, like right here, here driver. We moving the city, right? We moving the city. They enjoy it, we take them safe home. They want a good food, we deliver to their door. And the app, those app, those company, take care of us like we are a slave. We have no, like the protection, you know, What's the parachute? Sometimes uh, the union is an umbrella. We don't need it all the time. When the times come, we, we should have it. If we don't have it, that's the problem. Like as a parachute, we never need it. But when we need it, we don't have it, we lose our life. Same way. We don't need a union all the time. But when we need it, and there is no union, it means we are unsecured. Our job is unsecured. And they, those are not giving us a chance to explain what the reason why we deactivated. They just put the account on hold, and later on, the end of the day, the account deactivation. Those things giving us a mental problem, financial problem. Uh, not only that, we're not getting a tips. That's the reason. That's also another point. And we're getting a short trip, short order. It means we're working for free. Like the 539, what are we going to make with that 539? We're not going to make our uh, expenses. We, we are not able to pay our bill. Sometimes delivery drivers, there is a hundreds of incidents in a day. Like the bicycle is stolen. Who going to take care of that? Nobody. We have to buy another bicycles or or left the job. Same way on the Uber app, like as an Uber driver. Uh, those are the things we should have our union to, to do a favor and a proud protection and job security. Uh, United Delivery Worker Association joined the coalition because if we all come together, it's a big voice. If you speak yourself, no gonna hear. If I speak myself, no, no gonna, nobody gonna hear. If we, like a shout together, it's a big voice. And one day, it will happen. It's not a far. It's beginning from today. We will get our union. Thank you. And also, uh, I'm originally from Nepal, but uh, I'm going to, I saw like a bunch of guys from India. I also uh, going to explain what I said in the Indian. और भाई और बहनों मेरा हिंदी भी इतना अच्छा तो नहीं है फिर भी अभी मैं बता रहा हूं हम ये सिटी हालिंग कर रहे हैं सबका घर पे पहुंच घर पे डिलीवरी कर रहे हैं फिर भी बात तो ज्यादा बात नहीं है छोटा ही बात है हमारा प्रोटेक्शन नहीं है हमारा जॉब सिक्योर नहीं है आज यहां पे हम इसलिए इकट्ठा हुआ है आप एक कहावत है एक थ्रेड को जो भी चुड़ा सकता है अगर वो उसको इकट्ठा करके एक रस्सी बना देता ना कोई भी वो चुड़ा नहीं सकता है इसका मतलब होता है हम लोग सब लोग एक साथ आना जरूरी है और हमारा राइट्स के लिए ये हमारा अधिकार है हम करेंगे धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके सो आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस नेक्स्ट होसेल एंड द हॉट गुड अप गुड अप Hi guys, how are you guys? My name is Josiel Andujar. I'm a 
active act, um, an active activist of the industries for a long time. And you know what I see here? I see I see power. I see energy. And that's what we need to achieve all we want. What we want? Justice. Justice. And we want union also. We're dealing with a lot of challenges right now uh, that are developing, are developing in the in the high levels, stuff like uh, putting a toll here in Midtown that is going to, you know, they say it's going to be between nine dollars to twenty-four dollars. It's something crazy that if you really think about it, that will dilute a lot. Of, 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 of the job that we have. That, it will reduce it, but who go to pay a toll to come here from the suburbs and pay $29 or $24, $20, you know? And something, something that we facing here right now is inflation. Stuff are more expensive, maybe your rent's going high, the food, the gas, you know? And it's time to call for, for that, uh, that pay to go up, you know, we know a public entity. We can take that uh, in our own, you know. We doing a job. We an independent contractor, and we want, you know, just to be treated fairly. We we can say to Uber and Lyft, we know again business. We support business, but we need our cut. We need to to be treated. Be treated fair like everybody else. I can see here that mostly of us are immigrants, people that came to these countries to do better. You know, sometimes we escape to, to a lot of injustice, uh, different situations. And you know what? We united. We need, we need numbers, we need power, we need compromise. We need that each one of you talk to your fellow drivers, uh, delivery guys and trying to tell them, let's get together. We can do this. We can unite, and we can make it happen. Okay, guys? Yeah. You know, what we want? Just Union. Us. What we want? All right. Thank you. Hey, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. Now let's have Mr. Pedro Acosta. Come on, Pedro. Woo! Come on, guys. Cheer up. Hello, hello. Buenas tardes a todos. Mi nombre es Pedro Acosta, organizador de IDG por seis años y chofer aquí en la ciudad de Nueva York por más de 20 años. Trabajo con Uber por casi nueve años y Lyft también por unos más o menos seis años. Y cada día que pasa veo más, ve, veo más injusticia aquí en la ciudad y menos protección para los trabajadores. Por eso yo pido, o nosotros pedimos una unión, una unión que verdaderamente nos dé a nosotros beneficios, que nos represente, que nos dé a nosotros el valor que nosotros merecemos aquí como choferes, porque nosotros somos la gente que movemos la ciudad después del de servicio de tren y el servicio de guagua aquí en la ciudad de Nueva York. Nosotros fuimos los héroes que estuvimos moviendo la ciudad aquí durante la pandemia, durante el mes de marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, cuando los trenes fueron eh, eh, apagados, shut down, y, la, y las guaguas también. Y nosotros valientemente fuimos los que estuvimos aquí dándole servicio a toda la ciudad aquí, a todos los enfermeros, a los doctores que tienen que ir a sus hospitales y a su sitio de trabajo. Y desafortunadamente por eso perdimos cientos de choferes. Yo, cien, más de 100 choferes murieron aquí dando el servicio que nadie quería dar cuando el COVID estaba atacando fuertemente. Por eso nosotros queremos una unión y queremos que se nos respete nuestros derechos, queremos que se nos respete también nuestro salario, que sea justo para que nosotros podamos mantener a nuestra familia. Y sobre todo, queremos enfatizar algo que es muy importante, la seguridad de nosotros los choferes y los delivery drivers también que están siendo atacados muchas veces por la violencia que están implementándose aquí en Nueva York y otras veces porque quieren robar el dinero que llevan encima, otras veces porque le quieren robar su bicicleta. Ya también yo he sabido de algunos choferes que le han robado su, su carro también, que están, que están trabajando para Uber y también algunas compañías de, de Libre Car Service en el